I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place than we found it. Hey guys, thanks for joining me. This is Manny the Man Lopez, and today is a brand new edition of PLS Tips with Manny. Each week I give you guys some new tips and strategies on marketing online and offline with your business, whether it be through Power Lead System or anything outside of the Power Lead System that you may be promoting and using the Power Lead System to do it. So, uh, today I want to give you guys a topic about uh, time, family, and self-worth. Alright, so today we're going to focus on that. Um, I want to cover that because of, uh, you know, just the things that I've gone through in the last week or so. I uh, had a little scare at the hospital. Um, everything's pretty good now. I don't really think there's much to worry about. I have to wait for some test results and stuff like that. But everything seems to be fine. Just had some pain in my abdomen, went and checked it out. Um, and uh, I'll keep you guys updated later on that kind of stuff. But let's get into uh, the real talk of strategy and marketing and helping you guys grow your business. So... What I've seen successful in my business is really making sure I balance the time that I have, and that's with my family, myself, my kids, my uh, my loved ones, versus business. Okay, it could be really easy to get lost in your business, to get lost in in your passion, and just devote everything that you can to it because you want to get it up and running as quick as possible. You want to get to those goals and those milestones for your business. And I understand that. I'm the same way. I want to get as far as I can the quickest way I can. Uh, but you also have to understand that there's people around you that are going to support you during this time. There's going to be people that will be there hand in hand throughout this process. And you want to make sure that you're still giving them time as well. Okay. Myself, I'm married. I've been married to my high school sweetheart. Uh, we're going on 10 years now. Um, I've got three kids, three beautiful um, children. I've got two boys. I got a girl just born in December. And for me, it's it's as much time as I can spend with them is what makes me happy. And that drives me to do much more in my business because you can easily get burned out in doing what you're passionate about because you're just, you know, divulging yourself into it. Um, relentlessly and that could just get really difficult for you to stay positive because hey maybe for the first six months to a year it's great but you will get burned out and doing the same things over and over again and, uh, and you know you want to make sure that you've got that balance of devoting to yourself okay you want to make sure that you're growing your own mind you're developing your own uh, thoughts and actions and you want to reflect on what you do so maybe spend you know 10-15 minutes a day just secluded to yourself, no music, no nothing, just literally there to think. Your brain is very, very powerful, okay? We're only using, what, 10% of our brains, and it's a really complex piece of uh, muscle, you know? It's a very unique um, thing that can really shape your reality. Not even kidding. I mean, you can think of something and want that, right? And make steps towards getting that. Your brain can shape your reality, okay? So if your brain can do that, why not take 10 to 15 minutes to make sure that all of those thought processes are clear? They're all uniform in, in, uh, in making sure that you're doing stuff on the right path. Because we're all in a busy world. We've got a busy life ahead of us. Every day there's something that I'm doing that I know I should be doing this, but I'm doing this. Or i got this on my plate, but I'm doing this and this and this. So it's like you've got so much distraction in the world. You've got your phone that blown up all day. You've got your social media that you're probably looking at all day. Uh, you've got your friends and family calling you all day. You've got all these different things. You've got your boss around you. Or you've got, um, you know, employees that you work with that are just, you know, they take your time. And you have to make sure that the time that you're spending with yourself is secluded and you have just a clear thoughts and action that you can just reflect on and say, how did today go? How is tomorrow going to go? You got to plan your day, plan your actions, plan your week, plan your month to make sure that you're hitting your goals and your milestones so you're not just wasting your time because you could easily go in your day thinking okay well i'll just figure it out when i get there you get to the day and you got oh this stuff took you an hour every day this thing took another 20 minutes another 30 minutes here 45 minutes there an hour there and by the time you realize that the day's gone right so if you plan out your day so make sure that the time is valuable you have to understand that time is the most valuable resource that you have it's not going to be money it's not going to be the stuff that you have it's time time you're spending with family time you're spending with your kids time you're spending at work time you're spending with friends time you're spending at your passions and your hobbies or time spent doing other people's business 
or building somebody else's dream. What are you doing with your time? Are you wasting it? Are you valuing it? Are you planning it? Are you just going with the flow? Time is very, very important. So realize that and you will realize how important it is uh, what time you're spending on certain things. You're going to see, wow, I, I've watched this episode of whatever I'm watching three times now. Why? It's wasting your life. There's more things that you could be doing with that time. Another thing is family. Um, I make it a real point to make sure that family is important. For example, Sundays. Uh, doesn't really work every time, but I have a land uh, a standing tradition right now that Sundays are no technology Sundays. Uh, really rare you're going to see me posting on social media or things like that on a Sunday um, or even being able to get a hold of me. You know, you call me, text me, you're more than likely going to be waiting most of the day before you hear back. I'll check it once uh, every six, six, six to seven hours. I'll check my phone to see if there's an emergency calls or something that went through. Uh, if there's something I have to reply to right then and there, I more than likely will. But uh, if it's just a phone call about business, if it's an email, if it's a, a Facebook post notification, you're not going to get responded to. So I like to make a, a certain time that I can say, hey, guys, this is the time you have with me because you're going to get busy. If you get successful, you're going to get really, really busy. And I'm pretty sure everybody watching this video, the plan is to become successful. So realize you're going to get busier. Uh, I saw a post the other day, a friend of mine who's just starting his business. Um, this year, he just started a new relationship as well, and uh, and his new women, uh, women, women, woman, woman, with an A, not women, <laughs> woman with an A, um, is always vying for his time, always kind of complaining about the time he doesn't spend with her, and so he had posted on there saying, you know, if you uh, if you want a successful man, expect to have a busy man, and that's true because. If you want a broke man, he's going to be sitting there all day with you, spending all his time with you and going out with you, and you're the one paying for everything, right? So if you want a guy who's going to be successful, a guy who's going to tell you, um, you know, not tell you, but basically be there with you uh, on the times that need be and and be the resource that you need a man to be for you or that or woman for that matter, um, they're going to be busy. They're going to they're going to have things they need to do because there's going to be deadlines. There's going to be goals. There's going to be milestones. There's going to be you know uh, things that need to be done. You know activities, resources, and stuff. So and keep that in mind. Uh, you got to be busy. But being busy doesn't mean that you don't have time for things that are valuable and things that are important. I always make sure I make time for my family. I always make sure that there's that time that I can just take the wife and and, and say, hey, take my phone. Get it away from me, you know, and just seclude that time for them. Because if you don't, you're going to grow up not knowing who their parent is. They're not going to know who their father is. You know, I had uh, a dad that was very busy in his work because he worked construction and he'd work random hours, work nights, work weekends sometimes. And, you know, it's, it's a lot of it was just missed time. And um, I look back and I don't want to have that with my kids. I don't want my kids to look back to me and say, Oh, my dad was so busy all the time. He just never had time for us. We never went out. We never did things. I mean, for me, weekends is family time. You know, don't expect to reach me in the weekend about business and talk about, you know, even if you want to do business with me and you want to sign a contract or something, it's not going to happen over the weekend. You know, business can wait till Monday. I don't see why people think they're going to lose an opportunity if they don't get the business that day. If the person is really serious about doing business with you, they're not going to limit you to say, hey, this is the only chance we're going to be able to do business. If you value yourself enough, people will value you enough as well. If you want to be that go-to person that says, oh, whatever you say, whatever you do, I'm going to do, I'm going to do, I'm going to do, then they're going to think, well, I've got myself a, a new little puppet, you know, somebody I can just tell to do whenever I need to do it, and they'll do it whenever I need them to do it. For me, it's just, look, look, you, you're going to see value in me. You're going to see value in me today. You're going to see value in me tomorrow. There's not going to be any difference. So um, we'll do business when I can do business with you. That's the thing. You know, it's you have to have that mentality that you're valuable. If you don't have the mentality that you're valuable, people will take advantage of that. Um, I have to value my time. There's people that ask me, hey, come on down to you know, two hour drive to come do a one-on-one -on -one meeting because uh, I'm possibly interested in what you have to offer. No, <laughs> that's not going to happen. And what's funny is that we had a, I had a prospect like that that asked me that. Oh, uh, I have a referral for you. Um, 
they may be interested in, in getting you know some services with you uh, but they're all the way over here and you know if you can come down after you know business you know the time that I'm usually at home with my family come on down to an hour and a half long drive just to get there uh, if traffic is going to be two plus hours and then an hour and a half plus back uh, after the meeting which I want to be back till 9 10 o'clock at night I'm like no it's not gonna happen the business is great that's fine it's a really big paycheck but unfortunately my time with my family is more valuable if they're really serious about doing business with me here's my schedule come to my office between this time I'm more than happy to sit down with you because I can I, I have a team that relies on me to be here for them to make sure I can answer their questions and train them and do TOs and things like that because I'm training people on a daily basis so I can't have the time to go and sit out and do a one-on-one -on -one. if I'm gonna go out and do it a big event it has to be a big event I can't go out of my office for um, a one-on-one -on -one two hours away it just doesn't make sense for me we could do business by phone. Hey, I'm more than happy to sit on the phone with you while I'm at my office and answer those questions. If you want to have a sit down meeting, shake hands, by all means, you can come down to my office and we can do that. Um, you know, it's just some, you have to make sure that you value your time because if you go out and do, I used to do that all last year. I was going out and do um, these one off, one on ones. I've been doing it for the last couple of years and, you know, I turned business for most of the time, but there'd be the ones that I went all the way down to the long drive. Um, sat in traffic for to come back and be like, all right, sounds good. I'll think about it. Not something I'm really going to be making a decision on right now or anything like that. You know, it's maybe something I'll look at in a few months from now. And I'm like, then why did I come all the way down here for this? Right? It's like we could have done this by phone. You could have looked at my website, watched a video, and we've done exactly the same thing. The time, 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 time is very valuable. Don't waste it with people that don't value it. Okay, so that's what I want to leave you with here, guys. Um, realize that your time is valuable. I'm going to keep this time very valuable. We're at about 12, 13 minutes or so for this video today. So uh, I'll keep it short. I've got a big event that I got to get ready for today. Um, it's called the OC's Largest Mixer. My company is the main sponsor for this event. Uh, we've got this flyers that they're bringing, handing out to everyone that's registering at the booth. We're expecting about 3,000 people here. And it's just going to be a, a very, very busy week. So um, my birthday week on Friday, uh, my birthday is on Friday, March 20th, and I uh, got a big uh, event lined up for that as well. So busy, busy week lined up, and we've already got eight deals as of this, um, this recording today. So um, I couldn't ask for a better week. Uh, it's just getting busier and busier, and uh, I got to get ready for this big event. So I'm going to close this out today. Hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Um, if I don't hear from you, have a great week, and always remember you are too blessed to be stressed. Talk to you soon. I believe we are created for greatness, not mediocrity. That we are to live our lives accordingly, striving to be agents of change as we attempt to leave this world a better place than we found.